Je m'appelle Lindy, je suis américaine qui vit en France depuis 5 ans. And I'm currently working as a lectrice d'anglais, or like an English professor at a French university. And before I started this job, I know I was kind of looking for other YouTubers who maybe did the same path as me to kind of see what I should expect or just to kind of see what my everyday tasks would be. So for today's video, I thought it would be cool to kind of show you a week in my life as a English teacher in France. So if you're wanting to teach in France or maybe you're currently an assistant de langue and you're wanting to stay in France after, this might be an avenue for you or maybe you're just curious. So if so, stay tuned. So a typical week consists of classes, taking the train, commuting since I don't live in the exact city of where I teach, then as well some lesson planning, and then some downtime. And each week isn't exactly the same, but for this video I thought I would show you kind of the typical overall week of working in France as an English professor. Hello. <laughs> this is the early bird cam. It is 6.30 and I am off to catch my train and go to class. And today I have several classes. Um, I have a speaking class where that's like our main goal is to get them speaking. And then I have a master's class where we're working on a podcast, which is pretty cool. So, I like go. Because I don't live in the exact city of where I teach, I take the train to work. I usually spend this time listening to music uh, or a podcast, really just waking up and maybe even looking over my lessons for the day. Sometimes I'll stop in the teacher's lounge to get a quick hot drink before classes start. <laughs> and off to class. So I have several classes a day ranging from third year of uni to second year of masters and students majoring in a variety of subjects. I find it to be a really great mix and I've really enjoyed my students so far. Obviously I can't show my actual students so enjoy these empty classrooms. Next up is lunchtime, so I'll rather grab something quick on campus and eat outside or in the teacher's lounge, or if I have even more time, I'll go out and maybe even eat with some colleagues. I do have afternoon classes too, but when I have some free time, I'll walk around. Maybe get a warm drink at a cafe and do some lesson planning. Then comes my train ride home. <laughs> this has become my favorite. I get free time to prepare my lessons for the next day, and then I don't need to worry about it when I get home. I also appreciate some beautiful views from my window seat. And if I'm not lesson planning, I'll listen to a podcast, some music, or read. And I can also watch all the commuters coming home. What about you, Christophe? Why did you decide to go into, uh, you said physical education? Yes, yeah. uh, it was a long way. <laughs> At first, I studied uh, physics. Alright, so it is technically my day off. I had a couple of classes this morning online uh, where I did like conversation classes or I guess conversation workshops. So I had that in the morning and then I am taking the rest of my day to kind of prepare, uh, prepare for next week. So then I have an actual weekend and I'm not preparing during the weekend. So I have one class where it's mainly speaking based so I just look over documents and texts and videos that they'll need to do for homework so that it's like a refresher to know what we're gonna talk about in class. I also prepare any like games, like vocabulary games or anything uh, that I'll use during class. I 
I have another class where we're working on podcasts, which is really fun. So for that one, to prepare for those classes, I'll try to combine all my resources I have. And one class we looked at editing the podcast and I did a game, a trivia game to see. It was almost like a quiz review, but it's a website called Kahoot. If you're a teacher, you probably know about it. It's a great resource. It's really a great review game. Uh, and it gets students involved and it becomes a competition. So that one's a lot of fun. I also let them work on their podcasts in class. So rather from one class we did brainstorming and they could research. Another one I had them bring their overall script to class and we could discuss it. And we did a peer review, see how they could improve or what was they were doing well. And then another class of law students that were doing a podcast as well but that will be more related to their study of law. So for preparing for classes, I'll rather work on different games or PowerPoints that I'll need for the class, uh, review any material and different websites or videos that I think will be useful. And once classes are done, I'll have my free time where I can go see friends, enjoy being outside, even go on some hikes. and maybe have an apple or two <laughs> and then for fun edit my videos and even do some traveling as well quel conseil est-ce que tu donnerais à toi-même quand tu étais plus jeune euh je pense que je me dirais d'avoir moins peur de pas so that is a typical week for me as a lectrice d'anglais or an english prof in france as i mentioned before i was a assistant de langue at a middle and high school so if you are currently one or you're interested in the program, I do have another video specifically for that. And if you're more curious about becoming a lecteur or lectrice d'anglais at a university, feel free to ask me questions. I can even do a Q&A about it if you want. There are definitely some key differences though if you are thinking about transitioning from an assistant de langue to a lecteur or lectrice position. But yes, feel free to ask me any questions. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more French American content, travel content, all that kind of stuff. I feel weird saying this, but turn on that bell notification if you want to see uh, my videos as soon as I post them. All right, thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate it. Salut, bisous. Ciao.